to the features written in code where we have a bunch of videos on Ionic Framework, React, JS, and Vue. It's been a minute since I've done anything on Vue and I got a couple of comments saying, yo, what's going on with Vue? I'm trying to stay away from Vue for a while because I know the Ionic team is waiting for Vue beta and I don't want to go too deep into it and then things are different when it comes out. However, I like Vue, so I'm back at it. So what I have for you guys today is I have a split view application with Vuex integrated for login, um, integrated with Ionic Framework. Um, first of all, please make sure you like and subscribe, um, give a thumbs up if you love the video, and now let's get to it. So what, uh, how this whole thing started was my plan was really to use the Vue Composition API to simulate the authentication with context that I have done in in this um, in this React video that I have here. I mean, I was like, hey, let's do something similar for Vue. But I figured before I jump straight into implementing the um, before I jump straight into implementing the context API in a Vue application, let's just walk through a simple application. So here's a, here's the application running. So what we have is a login view. Get this over there. We have a login view right now. It's just hard coded. If I put anything in, it will log me in. A couple of things to notice is there's no side menu accessible. I can't see it. I can't access it. Uh, but then when I log in, come on, I don't want that there. Let's get rid of this breakpoint. When I log in, my side menu is available. I can access my menu. I have state information accessible in the menu. It's another issue I see people talking about is how do I get my state in my menu? So I have a quick example of that. Um, the menu is only visible when authenticated. And then you can see when I log out, I get the menu, I log out and everything's gone. So this is the base of the application. I'm gonna quickly walk you through how I did it without typing a whole bunch of code. Um, the source code is available in my GitHub repo right here. I will add the link to the video and you can see it was updated and that date's incorrect because it, it was updated today. Um, I'll update the date, but this is the latest code. So let's just quickly walk through this application. Like I said, I want to keep this a short video so you guys can see what I did. I'm assuming you have a basic understanding of Vue and UX, and this is really just about understanding how Ionic is integrated into Vue. Um, and I'll also show a couple of tricks that I did to kind of pull this off. So the first thing you notice is that we are using Ionics View Router. So make sure that you import Ionics View Router up at the top here. Where is it? And you use it. You have the usual. You have to use Ionic. Um, and then uh, I don't need this in here. So let's get rid of this. And then um, we set up our roots as we normally do. Here's a little trick that I pull, and I'll show you when I go into uh, my state management. Before I render, sorry, uh, before I render any of the view, I run, I dispatch this action to check the authentication. So what this will do is it will check the authentication, and if I have a user object, it'll set the user object in a state, and then I will start to render the views. So what this allows me, it allows me to um, put this kind of hook in here. Um, to check the routes and so the routes that need to have a user the user will be the user will exist um, the user will exist in the state after the person is logged in and so it will give you access to the path if the user is not authenticated it will send you to the login path otherwise it'll continue so you can see here uh, my default path redirects you to the home component um, here's the home component since it's using this before enter so before enter it's going to call this method private route and if we're logged in if it's authenticated it will if it's not authenticated it'll go to login if it is authenticated it'll go to next which will send me to the route um, you can see the login doesn't have the before enter on it because it doesn't it should not be checking neither is about or the about help page and once again this the source code is available this is just kind of uh, talk through to make help you understand what's happening um, I'm, I'm chunking these things just kind of randomly. So it's basically packing each one of these components in individually and so they'll be lazy loaded. So that's the basics of what is going on here. I think the important thing that um, you want to see is like when I log in. So 
as I said, I can enter anything for login and then it takes me in. We have the um, Ionic split view, which gives us this this nice side menu when needed. And if I take okay. this out of my and so now we're logged in. So what we have here is we have this side menu. Um, side menu works as supposed to. I click on it, it opens and slides away. Um, so the way that you implement the split view in uh, view is, right, we're just gonna follow the basic instructions that we have here. Here's the usage for how it's done. So let's take a look in our app view. And in our app view, we have our app. We have our split view set up. We have the context ID for the main. This ID, this ID main has to match the ID that's in the router outlet. Um, and so you see that right here. And the ID content ID main for the side menu, which when we look at our menu component, it has to match that also. So here's my split view, which is kind of managing that sliding in and the sliding out. And if, in go, if I go to my main menu, you can see I have um, my main content ID. Um, I say I want the slide to be on the start side, and I have an ID for my menu, which I'll talk about later. And then I have this um, view if, which is using a getter, not a getter, it's using computed method here, which looks into my Vuex store to see if I have a user object. If I have a user object, show the menu. If I don't have a user object, don't show the menu. And that's how the menu gets hidden when you're in the login view. Okay, um, the menu is pretty straightforward. Um, I have a, it's got a title. Um, and then here I'm actually showing some information from the store to current user, which is what I retrieved here. So I show the email address at the top. So let's just let you see that. So I got the email address there, and then I have some specific pages that I can kind of go to in my menu, right? So that's all we got. Um, and then I also have this little, this thing where I, where you can kind of toggle back between the menus. Um, and then I have code here that shows you how when you click on the menu items, it's navigating you, taking to the specific um, uh, path based on the push. So home will default to the home route, my uh, about will take you to the about route. Um, I have some, oh, this should actually be home, let me fix this. Uh, it shouldn't be capital. Oh, I got my caps on, sorry about that. Uh -huh. Let me see if that, all right. So this is basically how I'm keeping track of the active menu. So as you can see, I'm home, and then if I switch to about, I come back, my abouts menu, the home, my home is active. Um, once again, all the source code is available, you can take a look at it. And then at the bottom, I have my logout um, function, which will um, dispatch an action to logout, and then send the router back to the login path. Now, uh, now one of the things that I needed to happen was I need the menu to close. So when this is open and I click logout, it's going to dispatch the logout and send me back to the home page, but I needed the menu to close. Now in React, there you can use Ionic Core to get access to the menu controller and then use the menu controller to close it. Um, I tried that, um, it didn't work. Uh, I'm not gonna complain because once, I, once again, this is beta. So all I did was I put an ID on my menu and then I do a document query selector to get the menu object and that's my menu controller. Then there's a close method on the menu. I close the menu, I dispatch the action, and then see, my menu closes, I log out, and I'm back to my home page. So I get what I wanted to do, just had to do a little bit extra JavaScript work. I think those are the kind of things that when this thing is uh, completed and at a beta, you'll see those all cleaned up. So we touched in the login, we touched in the logout, we touched in the side menus. Let's take a quick look at um, uh, how we're managing the store with Vuex. Um, we have it namespaced here, so we have our separate user module. And then in my user module is this auth store. Once again, I'm quickly going to go over this because the next video I'm going to re completely rip this out and use uh, view context instead. Which is very quickly what we're doing. Uh, my initial action is this check auth. And what I do with the check auth is I'm not saving my user anywhere, but I want it to kind of act properly because when I replace this code with view context, I want to kind of use the same methods. So the check auth theoretically would see if my authentication state was uh, persisted somewhere. If it was persisted, I would set my user and I would move on. Uh, my login, 
once again, I take my credentials. Normally, this would be where your email and password would be. You'd make some asynchronous call. You'd commit that I have the user. If I don't, you commit that I don't, and that's to clear. And then my logout, I just clear my user out. Um, these are the actions, which are asynchronous. And these are the mutations, which actually set the state. And this is where, if I have a user, I'm setting the user state with the user. I'm clearing the user. And then on check auth, this is where I indicate that authentication was checked. The reason why I have this here is that when you're loading the application, you don't want to render anything until the authentication check is completed. And this could probably be the state that you could use to render a loading screen. I'm not using getters in this example. And um, you know, and that's pretty much it. So once again, the purpose here was to just kind of show you the um, layout to get the sign menu working with, uh, with authentication. Like I said, any value entered. Login, state transition, you get the nice animations. I get my side menu, I keep track of what's active. Um, I show it going down into a detail page off of help. Um, I switch back to my home, home page, and then I can actually log out. So like I said, this is the basics of the application. Um, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please subscribe. Um, I have a bunch of other videos in here in my channel. On, let's pause this. I have a whole section of um, view videos where they are, where they are, React. Here's all my view related videos. Um, I have a playlist of a bunch of view related videos. If you um, like to hop around, I have a whole bunch of, oh, damn this. I have a whole bunch of uh, Ionic walkthroughs and tutorials here. So please check them out also. Either way, please click this, let me stop this again. Please click the subscribe button. I'll leave comments on things you like, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, once again, the source code will be included in the link. Uh, take care. Bye.